Hello everyone, this is Sujan. And Ridwana, we're here at Old Westbury Gardens. We're about to check out the flowers. Let's go. Old Westbury Gardens, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, is the former country estate of John Schaefer Phipps and his wife, Margarita Grace Phipps. Opened to the public in 1959 with the mission of preserving a part of Long Island's heritage, Old Westbury Gardens is an extraordinary example of a gracious bygone era. Built in 1906 by the English designer George A. Crawley, Westbury House is an example of an Edwardian interpretation of country homes built in England in the late 17th and early 18th centuries. The house is filled with fine English antiques and decorative arts and remains virtually intact as it was during the more than 50 years of the family's residence. Westbury House is nestled amidst over 200 acres of formal gardens, tree-lined walks, woodland, lakes, ponds, and statuary. The Rose Garden was the first garden designed by George Crawley for the property. The rose beds, or parterres, edged with hedges of Japanese holly, comprise a pattern of circles around a central square, all enclosed by a large circle surrounding the entire garden. In the middle of the Rose Garden stands an ancient English stone sundial with 12 faces. Topped with a stone lion, it stands guard over the fragrant rose beds and serves to remind us how important it is to stop and smell the roses. Such formal gardens of interlocking parterres were traditionally designed to be viewed from above, and when the house was first built, the rose garden could be seen from the master bedroom. As Margarita was particularly fond of pink roses, the rose garden today maintains the color scheme she preferred. The garden contains several varieties of hybrid tea roses, each parterre containing a particular species of rose, such as Tiffany, Falling in Love, and Secret. Labels situated in the beds indicate the date of each rose's horticultural introduction and the time each was planted in this garden. The Walled Garden As designer of Westbury House and its landscape, 
George Crowley's original design for the walled garden was an Italianate villa, a garden design popular in the Edwardian era. This vision emphasized a symmetrical design with lawns, shaped evergreen trees and shrubs, terracing, paths, balustrades, and other hardscape features such as the walls themselves. In addition, Crawley integrated the materials, color, and classical ornamentation to echo those of the exterior of Westbury House. However, as work on the garden commenced, the design began to take on an additional character, a major emphasis on the plant materials themselves, as well as the color harmonies they created. This new design was shaped by the work of the English landscape architect, Mrs. Charles Hoyer Millar, who recommended blooming plants for the herbaceous borders, what we now consider typical English border style. Margarita Phipps also took an active role in directing the development of the walled garden, installing the color and variety of plants that pleased her. After its first season as a public garden in 1959, the landscaped architect, Barbara Capon, was invited to redesign the border plantings for the summer as the original bedding designs focused on plantings that bloomed during the spring and fall, when the Phipps were in residence. Over the next few decades, Mrs. Capon would continue to consult with the horticultural staff to refine her design. Have like about 15 minutes left before it closes. About to head out. Today's been a great day of uh, seeing just the beautiful garden, the museum, and just flowers. And it's been really nice. Uh, they are closing right now. They close at 6 o'clock and the security just told us to leave. Uh, if you're planning to visit here, the last entry they have is at 5 o'clock. Uh, you do have to reserve ticket in advance online. Thank you everyone for watching us. If you do like our videos, uh, please like, subscribe, and let us know which places we should visit next. Uh, stay tuned for next week. We will be uploading our... Our honeymoon video to the uh, Maldives. No, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I wanted to keep a surprise. <laughs> it's fine. Oops, okay. Well, now you guys know. Uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll see our adventure, uh, our trip to Maldives. Stay tuned for next week. Thank you guys. Bye.